As requested, I am going to make a video showing you how to make a chicken machine and a sheep machine. So here we go. So this is the chicken machine. As you can see, there are chickens in the machine, and they will poop out eggs, and the eggs will grow up and become full chickens. The chickens will burn and die and uh, become, well, what will eventually be uh, feathers and cooked chicken. It's a very simple machine to make. Here's how it works. So we start with a chest. That's where all the chickens are gonna go. You need a hopper to dump into the chest. On top of the hopper, and this is important, you need a slab. You gotta crouch and place it, because you can't just click the hopper, otherwise it'll open it. Um, then let's get any old block on the side of it. And on the side, and you gotta put glass up front because that way the chest will open. If you put like a normal block there, the chest won't open. And then behind it, we need a dispenser, not a not a dropper, a dispenser. And now where wherever you place the dispenser, it'll face you. So we kind of need to do one of these. That way we have something to place it against. There you go. Now, it looks like nothing will shoot out of it, but it will. Eggs will shoot right on top of this slab and live there. So then we need to put a hopper on top of that dispenser. Can we put it in the back? Yes, but that'll screw everything up. Just trust me. So you have to shift or crouch, and there we go. Now the little nub is pointed down into the dispenser. So in the front of that, let's let's put some glass. Why glass? Well, you'll see, because I'm dropping some lava in there. Don't worry, it won't burn anything. There you go. Okay, so the lava's on this block. The lava won't go down into that little bit right here, because that's a full block area. So take a good look at this. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's maybe put something over that lava all right so now chickens have to live here so let's encircle those chickens and then let's make it too high so the chickens don't jump out put a little trap door right there now I put that on top of that so it would open this way not down. Now comes the hard part. How do you get chickens in there? Well, I'll show you. And with chickens, it's it's a little easier. It doesn't matter really if they're uh, baby chickens or not, but it's definitely helpful if they are baby chickens. So first, not sheep, hang on. There we go. Uh, Let's make a little stairway for us to get up top. We'll destroy this later. And let's spawn some chickens. Chickens are attracted by seeds. See? They love me. Wait a minute. Come on. Hey. There you go. See? They all want some seeds. So we'll jump up here. Make sure this is open. Come on, stupid. Get in here. Not that way. Ow! Shit. Okay, sorry. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. There is an easier way to do this. I will show you in a minute. Come on. Will you go forward? So <sighs> you know what? There. Come on. Get up here, dummy. That's your home now. Come on. All right. And then shove him in. Ah, damn. As you can see, this is kind of a pain in the ass. So really, the best way to do this, that's even better than this way. Oh, hold on. I got a bunch of them up here. Let's see if I can't shove one in. Hey, look at that. I did it. Okay. So we got a chicken in there. And there's one. But the best way to do it is to gather eggs. Because you see, 
when you throw eggs, every so whoops, every so often when you throw an egg, you will create. See, look, you'll create a chicken. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see my fingers. You can, you'll create a chicken. So grab a bunch of eggs. Oh, there's one. So you got to give it a little time between each egg throw. Which means you're going to have to breed chickens the normal way until you can get a bunch of eggs and do this with. This is a... There we go. I like to stuff like six or eight chickens in here. And then eventually... Oh, and you don't need any of this anymore. Eventually, they will poop out an egg. Now, let's just open this hopper and drop 16 eggs in there. Notice, nothing's coming out of there. Oh, we're not done. Because now we got to do the thing that makes this dispenser shoot these out. It needs a redstone signal. And trust me, this is the easiest thing to make. So make this, uh, what is this, Not three by three. You'll need a comparator. And you'll have to place it going out of that like that. Notice it just lit up. It lit up because it recognizes that there's something in here. And then we'll take that signal, put a repeater down, and we need a block of any kind, some kind of solid block. Now, we'll take the power from that block and send it right back into the side of this comparator. It's not going to be as strong as the signal from here, or no, it, it will actually, it'll be stronger because this is a weak signal, this is a strong signal, and it'll turn this off. And it'll constantly do that. It turns it off, and then once it turns it off, the signal isn't as strong as, as, the, as the one from here, so it turns it on, and then so on and so forth, in a constant loop. So what do we do with that? Well, we gotta power this block. So again, we need another block right here. And we need a thing right here. And we got to make sure it doesn't go sailing back into that side of this comparator. So we do that. And now it's shooting out all those eggs. And every time it shoots an egg, well, every so often it'll shoot an egg that spawns a chicken. Now when those chickens grow up, uh, the lava will cook them. And this hopper will catch that and put it, put the results right in there. And that is it. That's, that's chicken farm. Okay, so it's sheep time. Uh, with sheep, you only need one, and it is way easier if it's a baby, but if not, it's cool. We can do that too. Okay, so sheep farm's pretty simple. The sheep munches on grass and regrows its coat every time it is sheared. So if as soon as this grass grows back, the sheep will probably eat it to regrow its coat, in which case this dispenser will shear the sheep. Now how does the dispenser know to shoot something out? Because as soon as that block is updated, this is an observer. It may look different on your system, whatever. Anyway, it's an observer and it shoots out a little redstone fart that lights up this block, which powers the shears, which shears the sheep. And then, ugh. okay, kind of forgot to add something. That's a mine cart with a hopper in it. I'll explain that in a second. The mine cart with a hopper picks up whatever's above it, which is above the dirt, and then the hopper underneath it picks up whatever's in there, and then it throws it in here. Like, see, I must have screwed that up somehow. Uh, we'll build this thing. It's super easy. Okay, let's start over here. As usual, we'll start with the chest. And a hopper. Crouch place. Goes right into the back of it. On top of that, we need a rail. And you gotta crouch place that. Why a rail? Because the minecart with hopper will not go anywhere that the uh, rail does not exist. Then we gotta place blocks around it. Because if you place a minecart with hopper on there, and I'll show you how to screw this up. It can be shoved off, and that's bad. So, let's encase this thing. 
And remember, you gotta put glass in the front. Otherwise, this thing's not gonna open. Let's place the minecart with hopper on the rail. That's good. Now, the grass blocks. Get yourself a silk touch shovel so you can get grass blocks. Why? Because when this block here uh, in the middle is eaten, it, uh, the grass around it will spread to this block. Uh, it's faster if there's three, so I like to put one, two, three right here. Um, then we need an observer. Observers have a face. This may look different depending on your texture pack. And then a part that, that spits out redstone. So when this block in front of it is updated, see what it did? It shot a little signal out. It only shoots it out in the back. So, when that block is updated, it'll shoot out a redstone signal. Where will it shoot that redstone signal? Well, it'll shoot it right there onto that block. That block will light that up, and I'll show you it lighting it up. Oh, there's a change. It does that. There you go. Okay, that easy. And then you need a dispenser. Now, what do we put in the dispenser? Well, we put some shears in the dispenser. These will eventually wear down, and you're going to have to replace them. I don't know how many times you can shear a sheep before it wears down. Whatever. If you're really fancy, you could put a, uh, a hopper up to it and fill the thing with shears, but that's just a waste of iron. Uh, anyway, so let's put some blocks all around this thing. Oops, got to crouch place that. And the sheep goes in there. Now, how do you get a sheep in there? Well, let's figure this out. Okay, so there's an adult sheep. Let's place a little temporary stairs. Break that. Break that. And let's attract the sheep with wheat. Ugh. Come here, dummy. You're going to love your new apartment. It's uh, one square feet. Or is it meter? I don't know. Anyway, so all right, so he's there, and we gotta we gotta push him in. Ah, okay. This is this is a little tough. It's easier if they're babies. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want it. Yeah, come on, dummy. Come on. I'll just creep over the edge, get him over a little bit, and then I'll move here and shove him over. Ah. And I gotta put one there. No, 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 no. Ugh. This isn't easy for anybody. We're gonna try it again. A little different this time. Come on. Come on, stupid. Yeah. Come on. I'll know he's in when he falls. Just backing up a little bit. If I have to, I'll just put a little, another place for me to. There we go. Come on. Shove him in. There he is. He's in. He's in there. He's in. He's in. He's going. No You're going nowhere. All right. So I'll put another block right there. And then for fun, I'll put a little trap door. And that's it. Don't need that block. Don't need any of this mess. Don't even need that. You know what else we don't need? We don't need the comparators or the or anything. Oh, shit. Definitely need that. Uh, don't need that block. Don't need that block. Do you need those? No, don't need that block. See? It's real simple. That's it. And he's going to produce wool forever. Actually, pretty quickly. So these are two easy farms you can make in your bedrock world right now. Go Team Vlog. Visit Geek Shock Podcast. At uglycouchshow.com. Uh, team Torgo sucks. Uh, have a nice day.